Hello, I am Derek Muto and you are welcome to my YouTube channel. Please like, share, subscribe, but don't forget to turn on your notification because you will be the first to know when a new video comes. Again, you are welcome to our first episode of Home Best Learning and today we are to demonstrate on how to test for the presence of starch in a given solution. So, what do we need? We need test tubes and I have some here. We need a dropper and I have one here. We need iodine and I have some here. It is normally brown in color. When concentrated, it is simply a mixture of iodine crystals in potassium iodide. We also need the sample solution and here I have got two solutions A and B and we have to investigate which one of the two contains starch. So how do we do it? This is the procedure. To one cubic centimeter of solution add three drops of iodine solution. To one cubic centimeter of solution add three drops of iodine solution. So we shall start with our solution A and remember to hold the test tube by the neck and not by the bottom because we need to see what is taking place within the test tube. So I get my solution A and then I get in one cubic centimeter. Remember the more little the quantity that you use the more accurate you become. So Remember again to take note of the color of the original solution in a test tube. And you can see it is a tabid solution. One can call it a white suspension. I get my dropper and make sure you direct the dropper towards the inside of the test tube. And this is what we mean. Then we count one, two, and three. There you go. We have our final color. And you can see it is black. So in our observation, we are going to say that tabid solution turned into a black solution. The tabid solution turned into a black solution. And in our conclusion, we are going to say starch present. We are going to repeat the same, but using the solution B. So again, I get my solution B, hold the test tube by the neck, and I pour one cubic centimeter. Take note of the color of the original solution. It is a colorless solution, and therefore I add the three drops. Remember to direct my dropper into the test tube. And I release my drops. This is one, two, and three. There you go. Our final color. And we can see that it is brown. So in our in our observation here, we can see that the tabid, sorry, the colorless solution turned to a brown solution. And the conclusion here is starch absent. So here is your brain teaser or one can call it a brain stimulator. Obtain a medium-sized Irish potato, cut it transversely, and add three drops of iodine solution on the fleshy cut tissue. Explain your observation. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.